Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. Ok, mira, escucha. Listen to this. El pueblo de Muleje, un oasis tranquilo. If she made it to Muleje, the expedition must have traveled upriver. I still can't believe this. I used to take the book to mi escuela and my teachers told me Lady Wolverstone's adventures were as fictional as Pedro Baramo or Sherlock Holmes. So she never got any credit? Never asked for any. She said she was writing stories for her grandchildren. But if they're true, her story deserves to be told. And you and I can prove it. Vamos, to Muleje. Let's go. We can start in the center of town and move outwards. I was looking at the time, I was trying to make it to that middle spot, but nope. Take a picture, get to the Wow, seven. there it is, just there, in the trees. How did I never see this before? I've raced this road a hundred times and never seen it either. Hidden by the trees, maybe? Lady Sydney writes that a local bruja, a wise woman, said the statues bruja. were only visible Rich. on certain days in the rain because they are statues of Tlaloc. I still think it's the trees hiding it. But call me when you work out the next location, okay? Hola, amigo! Haley called to ask about the promo shots, but when I told her about the diary, she said they could wait. Come pick me up. We need to go to Agua Azul. I'll be right over. In 400 yards, turn left. Recalculating route. In 100 yards, turn left. Yards, turn sharp left. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Right, 
your destination. Yeah, I'm going to hit these roads whenever I see them. There's that little patch right there. I'd have never seen that probably. Uh-huh. Ready to head for Agua Azul? Eso bien. We might get a little wet. Hmm. I'll keep the windows closed. <laughs> okay, okay, a ver. Okay. Uh, let me translate this part. The cool waters of Agua Azul quenched our thirst and inspired our hearts. In the heart of the blue water is where we found them. <laughs> then, are we looking for more than one statue, maybe? And in the heart of the blue water? What does that mean, I wonder? So, so the question is, why was the diary of Lady Sydney Wolverstone published as fiction? She was really here. She she really had aventuras all over Mexico. Maybe she didn't want to be famous. Maybe she didn't think anybody would believe her. Muy bien. Keep heading west. Muy bien. Ahí estás. Eh, we'll turn off the road near the waterfalls. Oh, the pictures are good. And you know, having pictures means no one can doubt us if we can find the statues again. This is big. I have our next lead. Meet me as soon as you can.
entered your destination. Boys. I found more of Lady Sydney's papers, original drafts of El Camino. She made pencil sketches of formations that I recognize in the Valle de las Ranas, and she sketched one of the statues. Lead the way. <clears throat> okay, okay, so, uh, I have a fantastic creatures carved in rock. Uh-huh. And she found the statue early one morning. And <laughs> get this. It was after a rainstorm. And this is another statue of Tlaloc. That is interesting. Let's see if we can find it. El Valle is east of Guanajuato. Mira, let's go. Valle de las Ranas means Valley of the Frogs. Though I always thought the stones looked more like fantastical creatures. And Lady Sydney did too. She got sketches in her book. La imagínate, lo imagine it. Explorers like Lady Sydney came all this way with nothing but ganas y un gran amor for the wilds of Mexico. She sounds like someone I know. <laughs> yes, yo. I shoot cars for the festival. You do all the work. And my ride is a lot faster than her wagons, no? <laughs> we have slightly more than one horsepower. Bueno, I suppose reading El Diario is one of the reasons I became una fotógrafa. I wanted to capture the same belleza she did. Already took in a picture of this car. Ah, okay. Today, the Didn't Valle de that. las Ranas is one of the most visited natural wonders in Mexico. Lady Sydney definitely knew a marvel when she saw one. But the guidebooks don't say anything about a Tlaloc statue here. Just come and meet me.
Mira, mira, I cross-referenced the final pages of the book with all the other papers I could find, and it's Ekbalam. It has to be. Lady Sydney Wolverstone's expedition headed south to Ekbalam. Ekbalam was only properly studied in the 90s, but we know very little about it, actually. In fact, researchers are divided on exactly how much of what we know about the Toltecs is historical and how much is Aztec legend. So why are we going to Ekbalam and not Tula? Wolverstone's book doesn't call it Ekbalam, of course, but she describes a large group of buildings, perhaps 20 or more, and a large oval palace. <laughs> and listen to this. Three large statues of the sort I have found in other places. Three? I'm pretty sure I only saw two. No, that's not all. She also wrote, the third largest of them in the same stone I have come to recognize lay to the south of the complex, only barely visible in the driving rain. Well, let's get there before the rain stops then. Got it. It's been fun, though I do feel like there should have been treasure at the end of it. Well, maybe. The treasure was the friends we made along the way? Ah, uh -huh. you said that, not me. <laughs> so that's that. There is one more thing. According to the book, Wolverstone took a jade statue from the site, but lost it in the flash flood. I'll try and work out where that was. I'll call you as soon as I know. Now I'm intrigued. Call me, yeah? Turn around when it is safe to do so. Ay, 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 hi there, Hall of Famer, eh? Woo! No time to explain. Vente ya, come, meet me. <laughs> Thanks, Carmen. Is this about the book? In 200 yards, turn left. Recalculating route. In 100 yards, turn sharp left. In 200 yards, Turn sharp right. I was about to say, how did I not hear the three of them? There it is. I hit one, I'm sorry, here's the ball. In 400 yards, turn left. Yards, turn left. In 400 yards, turn right. Yeah, out of all the trees I hear, I hit my head. In 200 yards, turn left. In 200 yards, turn right. In 100 yards, turn left. In 200 yards, turn right.
have arrived at your destination. This is the last one. <coughs> ah, there you are. So I worked it out. Remember that flash flood? She was near an abandoned church it along a river. Six, and that three. has to be the temple of Quechula. Oh, awesome. Andale, vámonos. Drive. Claro. Head for the temple at Quechula. Lady Sydney has one more marvel to show us, and you're gonna show me how a Hall of Famer drives, no? Wasn't the temple at Quechula flooded? I didn't bring my snorkel. Ay, <laughs> que chistoso. Quechula is located on a flood plain, but after a long dry season... The temple is accessible. I take it back, let's... down into that presa. See it? up on the church. Oh, yeah, qué rápido. This church is 500 years old. It was built in the hopes that it would become the center of an important city, but never did. In 1960, This is amazing. Like a final chapter of the book I never got to read as a girl. I, I hate to say it, but it feels like this belongs in a museum. I agree. But you know, it won't be visible unless you go see it at exactly the right time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe that, right? He was trying to be funny and she took him serious. What? I would take a picture of the statues. Oops.
Alrighty, we're going to end these videos right here, guys. Hope you all enjoyed them. I will see you all next time. Make sure you all hit that subscribe, hit that like button, and turn that post notification bell for me. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.